you're pulling punches, we're taking shots. Today, Blender Style is doing Liberty and Justice, Top of the Scrap Heap, released in 2023. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers, Cheers brats. Holy Someday we'll be at the top of the scrap heap. So guys, this album came out this year. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an EP, which is I think our first EP we've done. Uh, it's definitely the shortest thing we've ever reviewed. Yeah, eleven minutes, I believe. Yeah, just shy of twelve minutes. Yeah, and uh, so this is a band from uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, they are a skinhead oi band with punk, hardcore influences, and uh, this is just a banger of an EP. I think it just comes out swinging and does not give up. Uh, even if it's fatigued at the end. Have you been a fan of Liberty and Justice like forever? Uh, no, not for forever. I've been a fan of this band probably the beginning of this year. Probably, actually, this EP I think is the first thing okay. I ever uh -huh. heard from them. So yeah, this and is my first got me entry. into their other stuff. Actually, okay. yeah. Is it like is it similar to this too? Uh, yeah, it's definitely because this is like whipping. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, when I, you when you said hardcore, I was expecting like. I fucking, was not expecting yeah, this. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this is more like a punk hardcore influence and it's There's fucking piano in this. Oh yeah, fucking dude. It's killer. Great. The first song has piano and clapping, you know what yeah. I mean? It's just a j absolute jammer. This thing like it I played it a bunch of times. Like yeah. I'd be going into a meeting and like I should probably listen to some music and get some work done. I'm like I got 15 minutes. I'm like I liberty and justice. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. You're like pumped up for the meeting, you're clapping with a <laughs> It, it kind of is yeah. like a pump up. It really like, Kind of like gets you pumped for sure. Um, this was a quick album, and when when it kicked off, uh, I was like, "What the fuck is this? This isn't hardcore." Uh, but then, like you said, it's got some of the oi parts, oh, and the yeah. parts and stuff, and I was like, oh, "Okay, okay, I get it now." But it's a it's a banger. It it's fast. It's catchy. The the recording quality, the production on this is killer. I mean, to be able to like hear everything that's going on is killer as hell uh how, how about that guitar solo that just comes out of nowhere yeah like you don't hear guitar and solos. it's almost like a beachy kind of like oh uh, uh, dude uh, I, I love it i love that the guitar riffs in this you could we're not going to do that we've learned this in the show but you could uh, <laughs> uh, you're, you're not going to try and I mouth the guitar nee, 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 nee. <laughs> you know what i mean like the, you can mouth the guitar to this like it has melody to oh, it for it sure. has uh, you know the keyboards you know taking chances i'm sorry going go like a shit, tangent yeah. here but this is something that i saw john mayer talking about is he only plays like chords that he thinks he can sing uh -huh. you know what i mean because you can do sounds on the guitar that are like not singable uh -huh. and it was kind of fascinating i'm like oh he does kind of yeah. when he plays it sounds almost vocal yeah and that's kind of what you're saying about this too is that you can kind of like mouth along to it it definitely has melody you know when, oh, you, sure. when you hear like punk or oi and stuff like that i don't want you to hear that it, you know it, there's melody to this there's thought and good songwriting that's going on with but this. it's still like tough oh the vocals especially ryan yeah. the lead singer with his vocals that are like you know i never thought of it but i uh, we, we played this with some friends uh the other night and uh one of them brought up that it sounded like uh dickie barrett from the Miami, Miami boss I, I, I was about to say the same thing. A little like, bit, yeah. Uh, like... I never really thought of it that way, and he still kind of does it, but he does have a rougher... Yeah, he has that know. rougher voice, but everything he says is enunciated well, and it's clear, and it's not... It's not like he's just yelling to yell. He's got harmony and melody in that rough voice, mm -hmm. which is really cool. It's kind of like uh, you kind of lose it in how quick it is, though, because mm -hmm. yeah. it just like goes by. That's, that's my biggest thing. Like as soon as it, it kicks on, and then I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm into it. And then I'm like, oh, it's over. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Definitely listen to the other stuff though. They they came out with a single called "Still Here." Okay. That came out uh, earlier this you know after this EP came out, and uh, I know that they had like a guitar player change and stuff okay. within the band. Uh, a uh, guy that was it also does a band called Bullshit Detector, which is a really good band if you like hmm. 
Uh, so you check Good them band out. Name. Yeah. So, anyways, they came out with this uh, e- this single called "Still Here," and I think it's one of the it's a banger. Like if I could make if it was an album that was that good it's that's a fucking it's a that's my beef with bands only doing singles like some bands only do singles and no albums Uh i mean i get where they're coming from nowadays especially with the the record it's just how maybe we're just old i guess yeah what's your favorite track on this Oh, dude! I, I think all of them. I I, I think uh, the last track was it fatigue or fatigue's fatigue? my favorite because it's kind of a, like it it holds back a little bit more than the other songs, but it's still fast. It's kind of fun, but it's also uh-huh. long enough to like get a feel for. It's the only one that's like meaty. The first track and the last track are kind of like yeah. the, the good yeah. like. What were the were the three two fifty four for the first track and three fourteen for the last track, and then everything else is two minutes or less. It's like a thin sandwich <laughs> yeah. with like all bread. If you like that, then uh, you guys would definitely like uh, their other stuff that they have. Uh, I'm gonna Mad go check World, it out. Check that out. Okay. It's 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 a uh, yeah, dude. They they're killer, man. I'm glad that I stumbled upon them. Yeah, I'm glad you stumbled. Me upon too. Him. This is a fun pick, dude. Hell yeah. Um. So that's why. Uh, I think I'm underrating this. I give this a 3.5 out of 5. It's still good, though. Uh, it's a fucking jammer. It's 11 minutes. Go listen to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're not like, missing much of your time. You you watch this in between it's commercial It's super breaks. enjoyable. <laughs> but I would notice, like, I'd, I'd be really into it, and then the middle would start to lose me, and then it would kind of catch me again. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, but I, th- I don't think you can be too nuanced with something like this. You yeah, just got to yeah. accept it for what it is. But I'm going to go check out more of their stuff for sure. So I, I gave it a 4.2 out of 5. I thought wow. it was a killer album. Uh, my biggest complaint, like I said, it's too short. Oh, I think yeah. like Nathan said, I'm going to go back and try and find like a full, full that, length dude. from them. Because when he said, oh, it's a hardcore band, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, not hardcore again. So, yeah, that's kind of my vibe. And then I, I came on and I was like, this isn't hardcore. This is good. <laughs> yeah. It definitely, uh, it's hardcore, but it has like, you know, skinhead, oi kind of yeah. references, which if you know those terms, you know, uh, rock and roll is involved with those. Terms. Very rocking. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it, it, it's got some rock. It, it makes you want to boogie. Oh, yeah. It was a great album. I, I, I love that, I Casey. It, so. Hell yeah, man. But your, your pick, Nathan? Uh, you see that? Yeah. Uh, I actually give this a 4.5. I think I wanted to rate it even a little higher, but because it is such a small piece of music and the fact that they, uh, they released another single this year, still here, which is, Dude, if you, dude, it's a banger, man. Really? I mean, I think I played. We it. should go listen to it right after yeah, this. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a banger, man. Uh, so yeah, good pick, dude. Nice. I love it. Check out uh, Liberty and Justice. Are these guys kind of big? I would say that they're getting some momentum within, like, you know, the Houston area and stuff. Uh, with what's cool is in that area, and like with, like I said earlier in a different episode, is that, you know, this punk and oi stuff is kind of getting a little bit bigger now, and it's getting mixed with hardcore. Yeah. And, I, and I love this about uh, the the hardcore and punk community right now uh is that it seems like they're we're kind of really intertwining and uh i really love that and i and i think that's what's happening with this band uh bands like conservative military image uh haywire that we brought up yeah uh like i think especially you know these guys got something going on and i i wouldn't be surprised if it gets even bigger fucking a man that was liberty and justice top of the scrap heap we are Blender Style. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Anabolic action in your ass.